Okay, wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I I'm not even joking when I say that. The only word that I can express, you know, my feelings about this film is just the word wow. Because, wow. What, what Denis Villeneuve and company have managed to do, this film, oh my god. Wow. So I just came back from my Cineworld Limited screening of Dune. I got to see the film a couple of days early and just... Oh my god. This movie is incredible. I loved it so much as a Dune fan. I love the way Denis Villeneuve respected the source material. As an overall cinema-going experience, it is big, not just in scale-wise in terms of the cinematography, but the sound, the score. Hans Zimmer once again knocks out another banger of a score. The sound design, it just envelops you. In a lot of ways, this film cements, this is why you need to go to the cinema. This is why films are made for the big screen. This is why you have to see it in a big cinema with big sounds and a big screen just because, wow. Everybody is so perfectly cast. The world is fully realized and fantastic and just Denis Villeneuve is a man, a storyteller with a vision and a plan and I trust him completely and I need this trilogy. I need the completion of it because just this movie is just... It's an experience, just wow. And look, as a Dune fan, it's great. As a book to screen adaptation, it's really good. It's not perfect. I mean, everyone's gonna have the little fanboy nitpicks of, ah, oh, they didn't include this scene, or ah, oh, they skipped out this bit, or ah, oh, this wasn't as good as I imagined it in my head. But like, think about it honestly, we're not the ones making the film. This is Denis Villeneuve's interpretation of Dune and just, I loved it. Little things like the set design and the prop design. I mean, the way he does the glow globes is great. It's not how I envisioned it, but the way he envisioned it is really cool. And so I'm happy with it. And when it comes to the pacing, this is no Blade Runner 2049. This is no two hour and 40 minute film where scenes drag on and you have shots of Ryan Gosling walking through this deserted wasteland for like 30, 40 seconds. No, 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 no. This movie moves at a clip, and in a lot of ways that is a pro, and in some places it's a con. And look, I won't lie, some of the criticisms that have been lobbed at this film are valid. Mainly the concern about the film's ending, because I get it, the film does end sort of abruptly, but that's not to say that it's bad. Knowing that this film is part of a three-part trilogy that Denis Villeneuve has envisioned in his brain, you know, the first two being Dune Part 1 and Part 2, and then the third film being Dune Messiah, in many ways going into the film with that knowledge you can see that he's telling one third of a three part story. In many ways, this is my generation's version of the Fellowship of the Ring. This is the first parter, this is the setup. It introduces us to the world, to the rules, to the characters. And granted, I wasn't a fan of some of the character work. They left out certain things that I felt were missing in certain characters, but Overall, in terms of setting up the tone and the atmosphere and the feeling of this world and of the Dune universe, I loved it. I thought Denis Villeneuve just he nailed it. In many ways, I think this is my favourite Denis Villeneuve film. I mean, Prisoners is god tier, it's fantastic, but just, I think this is my favourite because it's just, it's my type of film, if that makes sense. Like, I love fantasy, I love science fiction, I love new worlds, I love hyper-reality, and just, this film gives me that. And look, if one of your biggest concerns about this Dune film is that it's a white savior story, just put that shit to rest because this movie is very anti-white savior. Yes, you can see the tropes, but it's a dissection of the white savior story. I mean, you look at the way the ideas are presented and you go, oh yeah, this is definitely not a white savior story. If anything, it's really dark and, 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 and scary in a lot of ways. It's a dissection of it. And to me, it's very apparent. It's very clear. To those who have seen the film saying that it is a white savior story, that it borderlines on a white savior story, just no. I know art is subjective, but honestly, if you thought that, you weren't paying attention. And I hate that as an excuse, but just, you weren't paying attention because the film very clearly goes, white saviors are bad. Charismatic leaders are bad. But I digress, that's a topic for me to go into when I discuss this film more in depth with some more spoilers, because just, I have so many thoughts about this film. I just, I love it so much, and just, I can't wait to see this film multiple times. It is genuinely fantastic. As Denis Villeneuve would say, this is cinema. But yes, that is my initial thoughts on Dune. Go see it ASAP on the biggest screen possible with a bunch of friends. This movie, don't watch it on HBO Max. I mean, watch it on HBO Max, but I mean, go to the cinema first. Like, maybe just have it playing in the background at home as you go to the cinema to watch it, and then come back and then rewatch it on HBO Max and do that like three or four times because I need Dune Part 2 
just wow but honestly i just can't wait for people to see this movie i think this is going to be one for the ages one for the history books just it's, it's so good but anyways have you seen dune let me know in the comments down below like subscribe follow me on social media all that good stuff and until we meet again see you guys next time